Hello, Greg. I'm glad you're here because I think I've just uncovered a pretty devious plot. There's this clip of paparazzi talking to this TikTok star, Ryan Halza, and there's something very off about it. I want you to take a look at it and tell me what you think. average person, this might look like your normal video of some child star lashing out at the paparazzi, right? Stealing his hat, telling him off, and rightfully so, right? I mean, leave the poor guy alone. It seems like they've been following him all day. It's only fair that he should have to pay the hat tax. The well-known Hollywood institution, the hat tax. But something about this video when I first saw it a few months ago did not seem right to me. For starters, the audio in this clip is super weird, right? Like... <laughs> The music and the dialogue are not mixed well. There's this loud ass camera sound effect going on the entire time. And at the end of the video, it's kind of hard to tell because you can't really see Ryan super well, but it almost seems like when he says, you follow me all day, I'm bound to mess with you sometimes. It almost kind of looks like he's actually not moving his mouth at all. I'm bound to mess with these which is a little suspicious, but not as suspicious as the fact that the paparazzi doesn't seem at all concerned about this disembodied voice. I don't think he's nearly as put off by it as he should be. That's terrifying. Ryan, you got any fun projects coming up? I will not stoop to answering these foolish queries. Whoa, hey man, how, how are you doing that? This petty annoyance you call a career ends today. <laughs> The hell, dude? I didn't know you had telepathy. Every celebrity has telepathy. Ah, uh, put me down. No. Hey, where's my hat? Also, I love that the paparazzi says nothing for the entire video except unspecified cursing. <laughs> His immediate reaction to getting his hat playfully stolen is just to go off the fucking deep end, dude. Ha! Got your hat. Now you have to... Uh, now you have to stop following me. Ah! Fuck you! Fuck you! Bitch! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! It's just a joke. But by far the most damning evidence for this paparazzi video being staged is that, um... I don't know who Ryan Halza is, and neither do you, and neither does anybody in the comments. Who is that? Bro, who is he? Who? Haha, <laughs> paparazzi have such sad lives, man. Yeah, that would suck to get your hat stolen, I agree. So I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess that if TikTok, which is famous for being able to find the right audience for every video, can't find the right audience for this video, that Ryan Halza is in fact not famous. Which would make the person filming him not a paparazzi and just a stalker. Like, this is just a regular guy. You can't paparazzi a regular guy. Sir, the people want to know, what's it like to be so normal? What the fuck? Who are you? So I was confused at first, but it seemed like it was posted by, like, an actual paparazzi account. This account called Hollywood Paparazzi. I'd never heard of it before, but I assumed it was just, like, you know, something like the Hollywood Fix. They just post paparazzi videos of influencers and stuff like that. So I clicked on it, and lo and behold, it is just hundreds upon hundreds, just pages of videos exclusively about Ryan Halza and his brother Sammy Halza. It seems like they do this together. Just countless videos of them getting hounded by the paparazzi over and over. And to be honest, they don't handle it very well. Here's a video of Ryan Halza losing control on a paparazzi acting out like a spoiled brat. Holy shit, dude, Ryan Halza totally flipped out in that video. Someone get this spoiled brat in jail. Here's my impression of Ryan Halza flipping out. You know, man, I don't usually side with paparazzi. I don't. I think it's a pretty big invasion of privacy, but that was too far, Ryan. That was uncalled for. Apology with tears and blood now. It seems like their videos are designed with a few specific purposes in mind. One, they want you to think that they are famous. Two, they want you to be on their side right away. Like they want you to see the paparazzi as like invading their privacy and them having to deal with that right away. So your immediate reaction is to comment without even knowing who they are. Like, oh, come on, leave them alone. He doesn't deserve this. And to be fair, like, I agree. You know, it doesn't make any sense for them to be followed by paparazzi. They're just normal guys. Okay, now this one is actually insane. So this one is of Ryan's brother, Sammy. It's called Sammy Halzer Runs Away From Stalking Paparazzi. Holy 
shit, dude. That is terrifying. No wonder it seems like they hate the paparazzi so much in every video, dude. That would be so scary. To be sprinting down the street, chased by a speeding car trying to get a photo of you. And you're just a regular guy. That would be so confusing. Also, again, the audio in this one is super weird. I love how quietly the paparazzi is asking for a picture. <laughs> He's borderline murmuring in a car like 50 yards away from a guy who's full on sprinting as he's cruising at 70. <laughs> I love this caption too, and the fact that it was supposedly posted by a paparazzi account. Sammy Halzer runs away from stalking paparazzi. The fact that even the paparazzi admits they were stalking him adds a whole extra creepy layer to this. Creepy paparazzi with sinister intentions chases Sammy Halzer down the street, trying to run him over. He gets off on watching him suffer. Okay, here's where their strategy kind of doesn't really make any sense to me. They're staging these videos, so they have the opportunity to be anybody in these videos. They could be the most perfect character, the most likable people. You know, they're introducing themselves to people for the first time in these videos. They have the opportunity to come across like saints, like dealing with the paparazzi with such grace. But instead, half the time, they're like attacking the paparazzi, all while wearing the most confusing outfit known to man. But not every video is like this. They actually do have some videos where instead of coming across as Hollywood's newest bad boys. They come across as Hollywood's newest sweetheart. Here's a video of him making the paparazzi's day by buying him a burrito. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. I like when people respect my myself. Oh, that's... That's so sweet. It's kind of like they mixed the classic paparazzi TikTok video with one of those TikToks where someone finds a stray dog and nurses it back to hell. Both because he's giving it food and also because the person he's helping like isn't talking the entire time. They're just completely silent for some reason. I like when people respect my myself. For as weird as Ryan and Sammy are in these videos, the paparazzi character is almost just as strange. They're either like loudly screaming and cursing at them uncontrollably or dead quiet. Hey buddy, I got you a little something. I hope that's okay. You know, I get followed around a lot by paparazzi, but you're always super respectful and you don't, you don't get too close and ask really personal questions. So I just want to say thank you really. And anyway, yeah, enjoy that. And um, are you, are you okay? It's just, you're not saying anything. So I just, it's kind of strange. You haven't said a word. You're just smiling at me like that. It's kind of freaking me out, and you're just kind of glaring into my soul. I'm not sure if you're actually hearing anything that I'm saying, so. All right, well, I think I'll just get going. Again, enjoy the burrito. Thank you for being so professional, and Oh my God, what, why? Jesus, every word that's coming out of your mouth is a swear. Are you okay? Are you mad at me? Whoa, dude, you can't say that. Okay, now you're just blasting copyrighted music out of your mouth. I don't know how you're doing that, but I guess I am gonna have to bleep that in this video as well so I don't get copyright claimed, so thank you. Okay, well, that's really impressive. I don't know how you're doing that. You're just making the beeping sound now. Ryan says, here I got you a burrito for not following me all day. But the paparazzi is right outside the Taco Bell that Ryan's coming out of. So it kind of seems like he was following him. Something's not adding up here. I think this might've just been some guy. Ryan sees a guy minding his own business in the parking lot and is like, hey man, thanks for being cool. Here's a burrito. I know you probably wanted to hound me and get my picture, but you didn't. So thank you. The guy doesn't respond and Ryan sort of like rubs his eyes like this and realizes he's talking to like the Ronald McDonald statue outside of a McDonald's. Oh shit, sorry, I thought you were someone else. It kind of seems like if this were real, the paparazzi would have had to been following him though. I feel like the real determining factor in whether Ryan is nice to a paparazzi or not is whether he's wearing a hat or not. A hat to Ryan Halza is like a red blanket to a bull. Probably not actually blankets. I don't know what they're called in the, in a matador fight. Probably an actual word for that. Bulls, man. They hate naps. Don't ever try to tuck a bull in. I've been keeping tabs on these guys for a while just because I think it's so interesting and I haven't seen anybody else talk about it. Some of these videos were posted back in like September of last year, but recently they've started branching out a little bit and getting more creative. For example, now they're not just doing fake paparazzi clips. They're now doing AI generated news clips about themselves. Justin Bieber has once again found himself in hot water after rising influencer Ryan Halsa was seen attacking paparazzi. I'm sorry, so Justin Bieber is under fire because Ryan Halsa attacked some guy? Man, I can't with this Justin Bieber guy, dude. Will he ever learn to start taking responsibility for this guy's actions? Pop stars, man. Witnesses say that the future musician and Instagram model became agitated when photographers began taking pictures of him. Additionally, did he call Ryan Halsa a future musician? Witnesses say that the future musician and 
an Instagram model became agitated. Witnesses said they saw the model and future musician attacking the paparazzi. That's crazy, dude. I've never seen a human being attack another human being in such a way that I knew they were gonna start making music soon. That's pretty impressive. It turns out that Ryan Halls actually is working on music. He posted this picture on his Instagram account of him playing a piano. It says music loading, hashtag reasons dropping 2023. I like that his, his fingers aren't actually pressing down on the keys. He's like, look, I said I was gonna start making music soon. For now, I'm just touching the piano. Still trying to figure out how to make this thing make sound. I've been touching it a lot and I'm pretty close to figuring it out, I think. Reasons dropping in 2023. What if his first song drops and it's just a cover of a future song? Everyone's like, oh, that's what he meant by future musician. Okay, weird way to phrase that, I guess, but cool. Speaking of his Instagram, by the way, Ryan has 4.9 million followers on Instagram, which is crazy. Very impressive. Even more impressive is how many of those he gains at one time. He'll go some weeks where he gains 700,000 followers in one week, and then other weeks where he loses 300,000 followers in one week. It does look like people are not excited about his music, as he's been losing thousands of followers every day since he posted that. His Instagram is full of a lot of the kind of like influencer flexing you would expect from someone who is trying to look like a bigger deal than they are. But my favorite post on his Instagram has definitely got to be this one. It says, going to the top, had to check it out before I buy. You're gonna buy the Shark Week blimp? That's so cool. According to our reliable inside sources, Justin Bieber is upset with Logan Paul because of what he said about Bieber's new talent, Ryan Halsa, and how he handles the media in general. Watch this. Ryan Halsa, listen up. I get it, you get the hype and you think you're cool and hot shit. But to hit an innocent paparazzi in the face is next level disrespectful. And I am telling you, watch yourself, kid. Whoa, dude. Logan Paul's shoulder sounded really serious, man. Ryan, you better watch out. And I am telling you, watch yourself, kid. And I am telling you, watch yourself, kid. Oh no, dude. Robo Logan Paul is gonna come after you, Ryan. Look out. I've seen a couple comments under some of their videos that are like, guys, this is obviously not real. This is satire. It's just a joke. They're making fun of celebs, dude. Lighten up. And I would just like to go on record and say, I don't think it is, man. <laughs> I think these dudes are just trying to look famous. They have been posting on this Hollywood paparazzi account for like a year, at least. I can't even scroll to the bottom of it. I'm trying to scroll right now and it's taking forever. I just feel like if it was a joke, their posts would probably be a little bit funnier and uh, they'd be leaning into like the goofiness a little bit more. And they probably also wouldn't be spending so much money buying Ooh. Instagram followers like it seems like they are, allegedly, in my opinion. And they also probably wouldn't have paid to have an article written about them by by a knockoff New York Times, in my opinion. So this article is from September of last year. It's called Ryan and Sammy Halza, America's Internet Idols and Beloved Hollywood Celebrities. This article is a really interesting read. You get a little bit of their background. You get to hear what they think about being so famous. There's also a bunch of weird phrases in here that make it sound like it was written by AI. Internet sensations, online fame, global stardom. The two brothers have seriously gained attraction and desire from fans all over the globe, racking millions of followers watching the two skyrocket into their stardom careers. Damn, dude, I can't wait until I skyrocket into my stardom career. That's actually the career I pursued in college. I was looking for a career in stardom. Ryan is best known for his comedy skits and lip syncing videos on camera on Instagram. On camera? On Instagram? These dudes know how to do it different. Not too different is Sammy Halza, an American social media star with a strong fan base on Instagram. That's a funny way to describe someone's brother. Not too different is Sammy Halza, a similar genetic code. Oh yeah, and thank you for telling me that Sammy Halza is also an American social media star. I would have assumed that these two brothers are from different countries. Ryan and Sammy Halza said, if you want a career and to make a living from social media, it has to be on YouTube. Wait, they both said that? If you want a career and to make a living from social media. It has to be on YouTube. I guess, actually, if, if Ryan was saying it, he probably wouldn't be moving his mouth. With that being said, though, I still can't shake the feeling that they could have done this so much better. Ryan, Sammy, I dig what you guys are doing, okay? I think it's fun. It's an interesting way to get your name out there, to say the least. Really, the thing that's been bothering me the most is just that I have so many suggestions for how you guys could do this better. Which is why a few days ago, I packed a suitcase full of outfit changes and headed into the city of Chicago to film a total of eight fake paparazzi TikToks with my editor, Jake, who did a great job posing as a fake paparazzi. And I used these TikToks to experiment and craft a foolproof plan for you both to use to upgrade your fake paparazzi videos and get you guys the exposure you deserve. I wanna show you all of the TikToks I created and the results that I got from them, but first, 
I want to talk about our sponsor. Hey, Danny, the people want to know if you have any fun projects in the works. Oh, yeah. I'm saying thank you to today's sponsor, SoFi. What? And you're going to want to stick around to find out how you can have a chance to win $10,000. Okay. If you don't know, SoFi is the all-in-one finance app helping you bank, borrow, and invest so you can get your money right. My wife, Laura, and I are expecting our first child this October, so it's super important to us that we have all of our finances in order before that happens. Which is why I love SoFi checking and savings. I can earn up to 4.2% 2% APY on my savings, which is 10 times the national savings rate average. If you're new to high yield savings accounts, it's basically an account that makes your money work harder for you by giving you something back in interest. Your typical savings account at your local bank earns you an average of around 0.39% in interest, which is not good. With my SoFi high yield savings accounts, my savings earn me more in just five weeks than they would in an entire year in a big bank savings account. When you bank with SoFi, they hook it up, dude. With SoFi checking and savings, you get paid up to two days early, pay no account fees, and can cash in on up to $250 when you sign up for direct deposit. SoFi is legit. As a nationally chartered bank, they are subject to strict regulatory standards so you can be sure your money is safe. Your money is FDIC insured, plus you can access additional FDIC insurance up to $2 million on deposits through a seamless network of participating banks. They have live customer service seven days a week and you get access to SoFi financial planners at no additional cost. But here's the real kicker gang, SoFi and I are giving away $10,000. To enter, sign up for a SoFi checking and savings account right now using my link. Just click my link in the description or scan this QR code that's on the screen right now. You have to use my link to sign up, it is the only way to win. Sorry for rambling, I just get a little carried away, but thank you for being a nice and respectful paparazzi. <laughs> oh, I'm not a paparazzi. You're not? No, I don't know who you are. You just came up to me and told me to start filming you. Huh. So I guess what you're saying is, thank you to SoFi for sponsoring this video? What? And thank you to you guys for checking out SoFi? No, that's not what I said. So like I said, I filmed eight TikToks. Now when it comes to the actual filming side, I think you guys do a pretty effective job. It's pretty clear that you've watched a lot of paparazzi videos so you kind of know how they're generally shot. The only thing that I would maybe change is having the paparazzi guy actually talk when he's supposed to be talking. I think that that would help a lot. Just like you guys with Hollywood paparazzi, I came up with my own fake paparazzi channel. I called mine Viral Vision. I thought that sounded a little bit more like a paparazzi channel that would focus on influencers as opposed to A-list celebrities. So I photoshopped a quick Viral Vision logo and as I was editing each TikTok, I just slapped that in the corner to add a little bit more legitimacy to each TikTok. I noticed that you guys did this in a few of your TikToks also, but inexplicably, instead of using the Hollywood paparazzi logo that you guys made, you just used the Hollywood Fixes logo. Don't do that, that's too confusing. So with all the TikToks filmed and edited, it was now time to create an account. One of the biggest cracks in this whole facade that you guys have created is that this TikTok account that is somehow the self-proclaimed number one TikTok paparazzi account only posts about you guys? That doesn't make any sense. That's so suspicious. And look, I get it. You guys are trying to portray yourselves as the biggest TikTokers in the world. But surely even you guys would have to admit that there are other TikTokers, right? You guys aren't the only TikTokers. Cause if you were, then I'd understand why they're so keen to photograph you, I guess. Seeing you guys in person would be like seeing Jeremy Renner of the Jeremy Renner app. But what I could see happening, if you guys really were this famous, is a fan account of yours scouring some channel like The Hollywood Fix and finding all of the videos that you guys are in and then posting that on their account. So I created a TikTok account called Viral Vision News. I uploaded all of the TikToks to that account privately, then re-downloaded them so they would have that little little TikTok watermark on them. Then I deleted that account and made a new account called Greg Gonzalez 333. And that's where I posted all of the TikTok. This method also gives you the added benefit of captioning the videos from a fan's point of view. So you can basically caption the video and tell people how you want them to feel. The paparazzi's filming Danny from a distance. Wow, they should really leave him alone. Danny is a saint for dealing with this. Danny's stealing the paparazzi's head and beating the shit out of him. He probably deserved it. Danny is such a saint for dealing with all this. Okay, so it's time to start posting the videos. The first two I posted were very normal paparazzi videos. The first one is just me being filmed from far away. And then the next one I staged to look like it was like my first ever interaction with a paparazzi. Yo, Danny, Danny, what, what do you got going on right now? What are you working on? Any big projects? What? You got any big projects right now? What is this? Is this paparazzi? Yeah, I just have YouTube videos. Is this real? Okay, I, it's just YouTube videos. 
Both, I feel like, pretty normal paparazzi videos you would expect to see from any up-and-coming celebrity. And without even moderating the comments at all or trying to do anything to convince people this was real, they snuck under the radar and people just took them completely at face value. He looks so confused, laughing emoji. He has genuinely never looked more uncomfortable, not even in that picture of him awkwardly holding the mic at VidCon. And my favorite, who even is this guy? And then they came back later to say, sorry, that was messed up. He seems nice. I don't know what came over me. I'm so sorry. But I mean, from someone who doesn't know who you are, that's pretty much the exact reaction you would want. And on this creepy video from a distance, I had people defending me even more. This is weird. Leave him alone. I love how he makes direct eye contact with your camera and you just keep filming him. Like, what the fuck? Now, in hindsight, I think I wouldn't have made up a new paparazzi channel name. I think I should have tried to just make these look like they were originally posted on like the Hollywood Fix or something. That way, if people get suspicious, and they try to go looking for the original clip, they'll find the Hollywood Fixes YouTube and TikTok channels that all have like thousands of videos each. And they'll hopefully just get overwhelmed and give up. On its own, I think this one small change could go a long way in making your paparazzi videos seem more real, especially if they're just like basic paparazzi videos like the two I just showed you. But we don't want just basic paparazzi videos, do we? We don't want you guys looking like just some random celebrities, right? No. We want to use these videos as an opportunity to endear you to the viewer. We want you guys to look like Hollywood's newest darling, the sweethearts of showbiz. So the next day I upped the ante a little bit and I posted a video of me gifting the paparazzi a bean burrito from Taco Bell. I got you a little something. Oh. I just wanted to say thank you for being so nice and respectful all the time. I know it's, it's a weird job, but you're, you're one of the good ones and you're always respectful. So thank you. Thanks man. I would recommend you space your videos out more. Multiple paparazzi clips of one celebrity being posted every day would be a lot for even like Selena Gomez. I was just trying to get this video done in a timely fashion. Sweetie angel. Bro is a better person than me. I would look them straight in the eyes while eating it. Don't know him at all, but I'll respect him for that. Now, Ryan, Sammy, now seems like a good time to tell you guys that we are actually more similar than you probably think. You see, amongst my viewers, I too have a reputation for trying to pull little tricks. That's right, there's no judgment here. I am a little trickster too. I have posted several videos on my YouTube channel of me trying to trick my audience and mine also never worked. So when the algorithm started picking these videos up and feeding them to my audience, I started getting a lot of comments from people skeptical about if these videos were real or not. But that is where my next trick comes in, guys. Comment moderation. The amount of comments you guys get that are like, who are these guys? And these videos are clearly staged are definitely not helping you guys look like A-listers. But let me put you onto this TikTok feature called filter all comments. All you have to do is just turn this sucker on and now every single comment left on your videos has to be approved by you before they can show up in your comment section. So now all you have to do is every once in a while, just open up your TikTok app, scroll through the comments, approve the ones that make you look good and delete the ones that think that they're fake. Why the fuck is this on my For You page? TikTok really thinks I give a fuck. I'm gonna delete that one, that one is very mean. Danny, have you lost your mind? Delete, oh my God, he's so nice, approve. So now even though this video has been shown to 800,000 people, most of whom think this video is fake, the comment section still looks like this. I love him. Danny making it big time with paparazzi on him. What a real and genuine guy. So now people who think that the TikToks are real in the first place won't be swayed when they see comments saying that it's fake. And if someone does think that they're fake, when they go into the comment section to have their opinion validated, it won't be. The day after I posted that burrito TikTok is when I really let loose. I posted a bunch of TikToks and I got a little wilder with them. I was kind of inspired by all the lore in your guys' videos and I wanted to see how far I could push this. So you guys inspired these very heavily, so I hope you like them. Let me know what you guys think. Ah! 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 Yo, Danny, are the rumors true? Cease these games, photo boy. I tire of your questions. Hey, Danny, I heard the channel's dying. What do you have to say about that? Stop, dude. You don't have any comment about the Are you the just gonna right follow now? me all day? Bro, just, I just, I'm just trying to get a I, comment. I'm asking you politely to stop. Do you want me, do you want, here, how about this, Whoa. how about this? You like that? Now I took your What in tarnation? You get back here. No. You get back here, young man. You get my hat back. No. YouTuber and future missing person Danny Gonzalez is under fire after video surfaces of an alleged altercation between him and a paparazzi. Leave me the fuck alone. Fans are divided, some saying this is probably what the guy deserved, while others like Logan Paul were a bit more critical. Danny, I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna go Logan Paul mode on you. 
Now, let us enjoy the fruits of our labor. This video of me stealing the paparazzi's cowboy hat has 1.5 million views. And let's look at the comments. Very sad. Appropriate reaction, to be honest. He looks so good in that hat. This is Danny's turf now, yeehaw! So look at that, guys. Just a few quick changes you can make to your approach, and I think you'll be seeing dividends immediately. I do have to say, though, my biggest advice for you guys to make these seem real is to actually be famous. I do kind of have this suspicion that if you guys just use like half the time you spent making these fake paparazzi videos and just followed TikTok trends, that you would already have like 5 million followers on TikTok and then, and then who knows, you might not even need to fake the paparazzi videos. They might just come flocking. So yeah, good luck, heed my advice. Also, um, can I please be in one of your paparazzi videos? I can give you a good line for a video if you want. Here, like, uh, something like, Ryan and Sammy Halza, you guys need to stop acting like you're better than all of us other YouTubers. Just because you have more followers than us and are making more money than us, doesn't make you better. So yeah, if you wanna stick that in a video, I look forward to seeing it. And for everyone else watching this, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications to join Greg. On a more serious note, uh, thank you guys for all the love on my most recent Instagram post. If you didn't see, Laura and I are expecting our first child in October. We're both so excited and it's been really fun sharing that with you guys. So thank you for all the love. I will see you guys next time with a really interesting video. Uh, bye bye.